Welcome to your Week in Whiskey for August 21st. I'm Jillian, the Ace of Hearts. And I'm Mike Gill, the Ace of Diamonds. All right, let's get right into the news this week. The University of Edinburgh announced this week that they have created a whiskey biofuel suitable for use in your car. According to Sky News, the fuel is created using pot ale and draft. Combined, the two produce butanol, an alcohol which is able to power a vehicle. The fuel is said to be stronger than ethanol, another biofuel, which is made out of corn and other spent grains. Another advantage, this whiskey fuel does not need to be mixed with petrol blends. Now don't get too alarmed. Since it's made out of spent grains, productions of butanol shouldn't decrease the production of your favorite whiskey. Sky News reports that staggering 1,600 million liters of pot ale and 187 tons of draft produced annually by the malt whiskey industry. Wow. Yeah. Very Crazy good. Crazy whiskey can do anything. Huh? Anything. Mm -hmm. Very versatile. <laughs> Here at Whiskey Ace, we love our whiskey, so we aren't that surprised when people go to extraordinary lengths for their favorite dram. But even we're baffled at this story. A couple from Barella are in legal troubles after allegedly selling their 16-day-old baby for 2,000 rupees and a bottle of whiskey. We'll find out what whiskey. We have to. <laughs> Lanka Times reports that the father of the child was married to another woman and the mother was unmarried. She had been seeking psychological help before the child's birth. A worker at the psychiatric hospital arranged the sale. Well, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that one. Except that uh, I wonder if when they find out what, uh, what whiskey brand it was, they'll use it in their advertisements. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. A few weeks ago, we reported on the comeback of white whiskey. This week, Luxus is reporting that a black scotch will soon hit the shelves. Scottish distillery Manockmore has created Loch Dew or Black Lake. Made in double charred casks, the scotch has a velvet black appearance and distinct flavor. This is not the first time the distillery has produced a black scotch. They made a few batches of it back in the 1990s. The latest batch has been produced in limited quantities and sells for roughly $300 a bottle. Yeah, I think I tried the black the first How time around. How did you around. find it? Uh, I don't think I was very keen. No, I don't think I could drink a black scotch, but <laughs> we'll see. Over the past few weeks, we have read a lot of stories of bottles and label rebranding, but the new packaging for Famous Grouse takes the cake. Their newest offering will come in a can. Fantastic. Whiskey Magazine reports that the 250ml can will contain an ounce of the popular Scottish malt and cola, just mm -hmm. like the Spaniards did with the Cardo and Coke. They hope that their first pre-mixed product will attract new drinkers to blended scotch. While the decision may seem unsettling for some, the famous grouse has picked up on a growing trend. Pre-mixed drink sales have grown 47%, accounting for approximately 25% of ready-to-drink beverage sales. Mm -hmm. Innovative. Good on you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, this, is, this has been becoming a trend, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah, you, we've seen it with uh, wine companies, and a yeah. few people are put off by it, but I, I'd be interested in trying it. We'll see. And finally, in whiskey news this week, organic products have been growing in popularity over the past few years, so it's no surprise that many liquor distilleries are joining in on the trend. This week, organic whiskey found its way into the news after Prime Minister David Cameron gave his unofficial endorsement for Brook Laddie Organic. Cameron says that Brook Laddie is, quote, a wonderful single malt, remarkable whiskey, and a real treat. Cameron reportedly orders a supply of the dram to have on hand. The choice to drink organic whiskey fits in well with the PM's image. Luxus reports that Cameron is seen as being very green, opting for a bike instead of a car when he can, and attempting to install wind generators on the rooftop of his residence. Mark Reiner, MD of Brook Lottie Distillery, says, quote, We know this man has great style. Now we know he has great taste, too. There's a link to the first story. Our PM is obviously going to let us have whiskey petrol. Wonderful. I won't argue with that. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a reduction on our whiskey prices. Well, that's all the whiskey news we have for you this week. We hope you'll join us next week. You can watch more of our videos on YouTube at Whiskey Ace One or on our website at WhiskeyAce.com. And if you'd like to submit your own whiskey news story, you can feel free to do so at WhiskeyAce at Hotmail.com. See you next week. Bye-bye.